Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Useful Redstone. The series where we're going through the very basics of Redstone and working our way up through different contraptions and gizmos and whatever else you want to call them. Today is an item password door. Really, really cool. So cool that I want to build this on my uh, Let's Play world. I want to build all of this on my Let's Play world, but this one would be so cool. I can imagine this door leading to like a, a vault of all your diamond blocks or maybe even your beacon or something like that. And how it works is if I push this button, nothing happens. <laughs> and if I put something in here, like a stick, nothing happens. Uh, but if I put in the correct password, there's no way of telling what the password is. If you wanted to, I suppose you could write a sign with a hint to what the password is. Um, but there's, there's no way of really telling. But if we do put the correct password in, which in this case I've used cobblestone for, and push the button, we get the uh, note blocks go off to say that it's the correct password, and the door opens. Okay, and then when we're on this outside, when we're on the other side of the door. We can collect what we need out of the chest. The door will close again. We get our cobblestone block back. And then when we want to go out of the room, all you've got to do is hit the button. Okay. Now, I suppose if you really wanted to, you could have another uh, item password door on this side. But I can't really see the point. I mean, you're, you're on the inside <laughs> of the vault. You just want to get out easily, don't you? Um, so if I come round the side here to have a look at it, as you can see, it's super simple. That is all it is, and a little tiny bit of redstone underground going to the uh, door. But yeah, that is all it is. And if we take these note blocks away, because um, they're sort of not completely necessary, that is all it is. It's so simple. So over here, I've already put down the H of the door ready to go. The first step that you're going to do is knock out this hole here and place a dropper facing away uh, with a button on it. To get the button on it, you're obviously going to have to crouch click. Uh, to get that on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come to this side and take this block away, which is right here, place a chest in the floor, and now you're going to break this piece of grass. Remember to click, you got to crouch click on the side of the chest to get the hopper to point that way, and then crouch click on the side of these hoppers to get these hoppers to um, point into each other, like this. Place a chest on top of it, and then crouch click a, a hopper straight on top of the chest. Okay, so now if we put an item in here, the stick's going to go down all the way around and come out in this chest, okay, which is how we're going to get our item back, our password back. So once we've got this, you're going to place down a block here, a block here, and two blocks here, okay. And you're going to place a comparator here, which is going to read uh, what is in the, or how many items are in this hopper. And then you're going to place two pieces of redstone. And then you're going to place a block here with a repeater on it. No delay needed or anything. And then you're going to crouch click on the side of the uh, repeater to place a block there. With finally a redstone torch right there. Okay, and that is all it is. So how exactly does this work? Well, we've used this sort of logic before back on the item sorter machine. And how it works is if we put in some items, okay, like this, as you can see, they're not dropping out, they're not going into this chest, and that's because this torch is on, which locks the repeater, it like closes the repeater, when you've got a uh, repeater, sorry, hopper, whenever you've got a redstone signal going into a hopper, uh, it locks it shut, nothing can get out. So what we've got is this comparator is saying, yes, there's blocks in there, but there's not enough blocks to lay up this piece of redstone to power this repeater to turn off the torch to unlock the hopper okay but if I if I get it here you can now see my redstone over here if we keep putting items in here okay keep going keep going we're up to 14 15 16 17 18 and now if I put another one in as you can see did you see that it lit up this piece of redstone as soon as the 19th one in this first slot goes. So in total you need 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 items in this hopper. Remember to block all slots. If you don't block all slots, you're going to get like a random item that someone's put in there uh, come into this hopper, which is going to mess things up. So cover them all in whatever you want the password to be. If you want them to be diamonds, you can put diamonds. If you want it to be sticks, you can put sticks in there or apples, whatever you want. 
uh, and then fill up the first slot or any of the slots in fact up to 18 and then as soon as the 19th one goes in there this piece of redstone lights up which means this torch can go off which unlocks the hopper just for one item's time and then it locks it again with 18 okay and then all these items that we've got have come into this chest here and uh, now if you want to put the note blocks on top <coughs> my voice if you want to put the note blocks on top just place them on top of the torch and then crouch click on either side you can have like the three note blocks there now I'm not very good with like making a really nice um, sound <laughs> out of these but if we give it a go whoops um, stick a cobblestone in there yeah such an ugly sound such a really ugly sound uh, let can we get that back let's get that back okay so now we've got this set up to say yes that's the correct password we now need this to come and open this door so let's put a piece of grey whoops a piece of grey wool down here just to make it look nice with an iron door on top all we need to do now is get this chest uh, to hook up to this door oh yeah I also put a nice piece of wool there so you can't see it from this side. You can always also put those there and there. That just makes it look a little bit neater. And then I put a quartz slab underneath it. Just so you could just you could just see the chest. Do you know what I mean? It just looks a little bit neater. Okay. So now we've got this. We're going to get another comparator to go here. And all this is going to do is read whenever there's an item in this chest. So... You've then got to put a repeater straight after the comparator. If you don't put it straight after the comparator and you put redstone here, you're never going to get enough items in this chest to make the power go long enough. So put a redstone repeater here. And all we've got to do is hook this up to the door. It's that simple. So um, probably the easiest way would be something like that. That would probably be the easiest way to do it and just hook it straight around. So now, if I put something in this chest, we can put anything in here, piece of sand, the door opens. And as soon as we take it out, the door closes. Now, to hide this up, I used on the last one, I used some carpet. So we'll do that here. It's only on the back side. On the front side, you can put whatever you want because there's nothing underneath it. But on the back side, it's just a nice, easy way uh, to sort of do the redstone in a very simple way. We're keeping things nice and simple here at the minute. Like that. And then that one there. And you have absolutely no idea that there's redstone underneath it. You can still walk over it fine. And then finally, you just want to put a button here. So you can get out really, really easily. Okay. So, put the part. Whoops. We can put the password in. Piece of cobblestone. Hit the button. Boom. Ugly note block sound. And the door opens. As soon as we take the item away, <coughs> the door closes. Wonderful. And then get out like that. Now, if you want to change the password, all you've got to do is come into this hopper around the back. Take everything out. Let's go this time. Um, what would be a funny one to do? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. Um, well, you could, you could literally use anything. You could use uh, feathers if you wanted to. Um, there we go. Feathers. And again, fill all that, up all the spots like this. And then place uh, 18 in the first one. 16, 17, 18. As soon as the 19th one goes in, it's going to filter it out. So now the password... Let's take that back out again. Now the password is feathers. So we hit this. Boop. And... Ta-da! Boom! Horrible sound. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can tune it better than me. Oh, I hope you can. Otherwise, it's going to sound awful. Uh, but yeah, it is as absolutely as simple as that. Uh, no real space required. You only need three space, uh, three blocks uh, wide. And if you've got this in a cave, like some sort of vault, it would be so simple to do. Really, really is. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye!